Jessica was 16 years old. She made the mistake that many typical teenagers make. She cheated on her boyfriend, whose name is Tony. And uh, like many teenagers, she kept it a secret. After that, two things happened. Tony proposed. She married him, finding out she was pregnant. Now, it was only until after they got married that she revealed to him two secrets. First, that she had cheated, and second, she wasn't sure who the father of her son, Ignacio, was. My name is Jessica, and I'm only 17 years old. Before I married my husband, Tony, we got into an argument and split up for a while, and that's when I started seeing another man. Even after me and Tony got back together, I was still secretly seeing this other man. When I found out I was pregnant, I was so happy, but I was scared too. When Tony found out about the other guy, he started to think he wasn't our son's father, and it broke my heart. Now my son Ignacio is six months old, and Tony won't hold him or kiss him. Tony says, if the baby's not his, he's going to divorce me, and I can't picture my life without him. I'm hoping and praying that the results from the DNA test today will save my family. How old are you now? 17. You going to school or not? Yeah. You're still going to school? Yeah. Well, your husband, Tony, is backstage. This is what he had to say. When I married Jessica, I thought we were going to be one big happy family. I was pissed when Jessica told me she had sex with another man. To make it worse, she had sex with this man around the time she got pregnant. How am I supposed to believe that I'm the father of this baby? I am not going to hug and kiss a baby that isn't mine. I cannot forgive Jessica for what she has done to me. The only chance Jessica has of me staying is if Ignacio comes back mine. There's no way that I could stay married to Jessica knowing she had another man's child. Jessica, if this test comes back to prove that I'm not Ignacio's father, I'm gone and our marriage is over. Here's Tony. Tony, come on out. So, Tony, you feel that strongly about that child being yours that this marriage hangs in the balance? Oh, yeah. How can I convince you to stay if it's not yours? I don't know. It's most likely not going to happen. I have a child in my home. It's not mine. I love that child as much as I love my birth kids. But if this comes back, that it is yours, everything's going to be good. Yeah, I'm here forever, man. You're there forever. <laughs> when it comes to six-month-old Ignacio, Tony, you are the father. <laughs> Gonna get close to that baby now. Oh yeah. Congratulations to you, Tony. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.